Hey y'all. Um, I just wanted to see if I can get this under a minute, but I was thinking about um, this idea of embracing the shadow self and embracing lower nature. And it made me think about my lower nature. Um, and I have a habit, which I think we all do to some extent, is overthinking. And sometimes like I have to shut out the negative thought that comes so like the the positive thought comes and then the antithesis or like the negative version of that the upside down version of that comes in and it is always very unnerving because I'm like why like why are you thinking this bad thought when you don't want it to happen you don't want it to manifest you love and I was thinking about how this quality, like this habit of thinking negative things or um, being like having these like unsolicited negative processes come up, how that negative quality could be embraced. How do I embrace that? And I realized that this process of negative thinking is really just biology right and so there are studies that show like how frequently the brain um generates thoughts um and how our biologically we're wired to think thoughts like we're thinking of the worst case scenario and there's a uh, shan booty does a really good um analogy as to how the brain works and the analogy is, is like there's a glass on a table or something like that. And you put it right on the edge. And naturally, your brain is going to see that glass fall over a million and one times before it sits with the idea that the glass could stay up. And that's a really extreme example only because our life is not, the, it's not, we're not sitting on the edge of a table all the time, right? Like the idea of good things happening to us is actually not far-fetched and that's part of, part of believing that is what helps you manifest the world that you want to see or the life that you want to have. Uh, but it, but it came down to me and I realized that this process of me having negative thoughts is not my fault it's not something i'm doing intentionally and it actually is just reflective of a super critical um highly critical high, highly critical thinking process which is a gift and so thinking about how i could use that and embrace that quality so that when these moments come up where i am having a lower vibrational thought or i am um, subconsciously manifesting uh, something that will not serve me, a moment that will not serve me, how I could use that to retrain my brain, right? And so instead of thinking critically in this direction, I could be thinking critically in another direction or recognizing that the bad thought that I'm having is not an intuition. It's not um, something to really give life to, but more than just the process of my brain um doing what it does and the fact that that process is a reflection of my environment that process is a reflection of patterns that flat that that process is a reflection of something um more complex it is just more complex than the idea that i am just a negative person or that i need help or that there's something that is happening externally and a lot of the times I feel like we act like we are in the back seat of a car that we're really driving. Like you're the one that's driving the car. You're the one that is directing your life. You're the one that is directing your brain. Are there things in your external circumstance that affect you? Absolutely. But it's recognizing your quality and your process and how you are handling the things that are happening to you, how you're handling the events in your life, how you're processing your emotions and understanding the mechanism of that, I think is a part of a compartmentalized way to process how to repair what is broken and how to go against uh, a system and an environment that is constantly forcing us to look at the negative. And that's it, y'all. Peace and love.